All right, folks, so we've got everything connected up here, and these fans are just really ridiculous. You've got to hear this. Let me turn this on for you. take a quick break to talk about one of our new sponsors on the channel which is VIPSCDKey.com. They are a platform selling official Microsoft keys along with other game keys as well. Now to introduce you to them I want you to go to your browser and type VIP-SCDKey.com and from here you will see all of the product keys that they have to offer. Now often is the case that we have just brought up a new mining rig or maybe built that new PC gaming rig and we need a Windows 10 key. We are just going to type Windows 10 and we are going to select the version that's appropriate for you. They were kind enough to give our viewers 20% off, 20% discount on these license keys. So we are going to use the promo code SKHR and apply. So now we're going to activate Windows and I have remoted into a Chia mining rig. So I am going to go to settings and from here update and security and you'll see the activation tab on the left side and here we'll enter our new key. And there you go, we've activated this copy of Windows. And you can see here, Windows is activated. And that annoying overlay text from Microsoft is no longer here. So we are all set. So when you need a product key, be sure to go check out VIPSCDKey.com. Now back to the show. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Hashraptor YouTube channel. Hope you are doing great. Today we are doing part two of our mineral oil submersion testing here we're, we're dunking our gpus we're immersing them in this oil now if you have not seen part one i do encourage you to go watch that because there are some decisions that we made along the way why we are using this sort of low grade or standard mineral oil and why we are working from the ground up and just a quick philosophy on that is that I'm trying to do everything here so that I can learn as I go. I don't want to kind of skip steps and not have uh, some of the learnings that many of you who have tested this stuff kind of went through when you started from the ground up. And I just want to document it along the way. So uh, also the other thing I want to point out is in all of these videos I do, I'm gonna put in the description below any of the primary lessons learned, some of the key takeaways, and things kind of not to do and as we maybe come up with best practices or not <laughs> what 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 to do uh, and I'll put those in the description below so take a look at that we do have a few from the last video and then we've got some to add so for example the way we left off the last video things were looking good actually uh, everything worked the the rig continued to work once we got everything immersed into the fluid and temperatures for the first six to twelve hours actually looked really really good and everything continued to mine and look solid well since then over the past several days what i have learned is it does mine solid but this oil even with one GPU in here, the temperature, the longer you will leave that in there, it just continues to rise and continues to rise. So I've set it mining so I could show you this. And if you look right here, this is our external sensor that we've got. We are at 121.2 degrees Fahrenheit. And I've had this mining for quite a while now. And that's just, that's really way too hot. You can, as you start reading, as you start watching videos, you, you learn that what can happen is you can actually create cracks in the tank. You can have issues with the sealant that's on your tanks. All kinds of stuff can start happening. One of the best practices I've heard is taking the fans off, removing the thermal paste, and then creating your setup that way. But I have seen people who've left them on to help create circulation. Well, that circulation, you can see the top of the, the uh, mineral oil here. It is, it is moving but it doesn't help at the end of the day. The next thing that I tried toward the end of the last video was I just took this pump and I didn't um, mean to do this specific test when I bought it, but what I decided to do was leave it, uh, lean it on the side and just allow mineral oil to be pushed to the GPU to see if more circulation mattered. 
and as you can see it didn't so what I want to try now is I want to use a second tank sort of a reservoir over here a large tank I got this I think for $25 off Amazon and I'm gonna fill it with some more mineral oil and I've got a second pump and we are at this point we have no radiator connected and what I want to do is pump the hot mineral oil from one to the other and then hopefully take the cooler mineral oil and pump that back into this tank right here. So something else I wanted to show you just real quick here with the test setup we've got is I've never worked with mineral oil before in this capacity, like I said, and something I wasn't ready for is as you're working with this and you know tubes drip or you're moving parts around, you get tiny drops of oil, or at least I did anyway. Um, in, in different spots and you can just you know wipe it up for sure but what I what I wasn't aware of is this stuff just stays around it's not like water that evaporates I mean this drop I've kind of left it there to keep an eye on it and it's been there for about five days right now so yeah something to keep in mind as you're working with this stuff there's definitely some positives to it but also uh, a few things that are just a little interesting and different about the makeup of the the fluid i did go ahead and put the filter in here because i figured even though i cleaned these gpus and i'll, I'll clean the the next ones that i get uh, there's there's got to be some dust and debris down deep inside there probably i didn't do a deep cleaning so i it was just logical to me i so far i haven't seen any negative but i put the uh the filter that came with this fish tank uh, in here so we've got this little waterfall and then the actual filters inside here so I don't know uh, I don't think it's a bad idea and everything's running pretty good so far okay so we've got the pump and the new tank here and I'm gonna have to reorient this one I think what I'm gonna do is take it and put it on the other side and what I'll do is pump the hot oil from this tank over into here and then I'll have what might be the cooler oil <laughs> I don't know we'll see uh, this pump on this side let's see pulling across and then it's gonna pump out into this side of the tank so we'll come out here with cooler oil down into here let it circulate and mix and then out the back side and we'll dump back into here so let's get some oil put in there and we'll be ready to go all right, I've got the second pump in, and I've got the lines cut right here to feed from each tank. Okay, you can see what I've done here. I put these grips that I use for lighting here on the fish tank, securing the tube in place. That way I don't have to feel like I'm having to hold it as I turn this on because I'm about to get nervous again when I plug this in here in just a second. All right, here we go. This is, uh, I guess, the second major test we're gonna try. So let me get this powered on. Just the more I think through this, I think I should get probably eight gallons in each tank here. Whoa, check that out. That is pretty cool, check that out. All the air getting pushed out of this pump here as it starts for the first time. You can see, I <laughs> didn't even anticipate that. Look at that, it immediately leveled both of these out here. I guess I'll have to keep an eye on that. Yeah, but what I was saying is, is you can see right there in my hands, definitely one of the downsides to this is just anytime you want to work on this and do maintenance, you just get really oily. Uh, which is weird. <laughs> I mean, every time I work on this project, a smile comes on my face and it's just fun. I'm having fun doing it, but I definitely want to be clear here. And, and maybe I should have said more of this in the first video. I'm not at a point of recommending this. This is completely an experiment. Hopefully I made that clear. 
Look at this, this oil level is actually getting higher. Okay, well, I figured out one thing, why one of the pumps was pulling more mineral oil than the other. Look at this thing. So this was a clear piece of plastic, maybe some retail package covering here. It was on the original pump over here on the intake, and what it was doing, I couldn't see it in the mineral oil because it was completely transparent. I, I couldn't see it at all. What that was doing was it was blocking the intake and really only giving me about half, maybe to three quarters of the pressure that I was looking for. So yeah, keep an eye out for stuff like this. All right, we've got everything set up the way I think I want it for right now to run this experiment. So I'm going to let this run for a few hours and we'll be back to check on it. Okay, folks, this has been up and mining for a few hours now, and the external display up here actually reads about 110, about 110.5 degrees Fahrenheit. And before it goes any further, I actually just got this alarm from Hive saying that this GPU was at 75 degrees Celsius. I'll think about this, but at the moment it looks like just using the reservoir is a failure um, without any real active cooling. It was kind of as expected, but like I said, I wanted to walk through this. I was going to run an experiment where I put a coal plate on the reservoir over here. So I think what I'm going to do is eliminate one tank altogether, take the mineral oil from both, just put it into one and consolidate, see how that goes. So up next, let's consolidate and let's start testing with the radiators we've got. All right, so first up, I've got this Thermaltake Pacific CL360 radiator. So it's gonna take three 120 millimeter fans. And I've already unboxed it. Here's what it looks like. And right now I'm just trying to work out the tubing that I've got to see if it's gonna be sufficient for what came with the kit that I ordered initially that does not come it's not a thermal take kit it's a fish tank kit so it's going to be a little sketchy and then the second thing i'm trying to figure out here is the orientation so for example am i going to put it i think what i'm going to do is put it like this and then put the fans on the back side pulling air through and best i can see from all the testing that's done with these radiators you can do push or pull and it's pretty it's pretty effective and the pump's gonna be down in the tank, so we'll have the pump lower than the intake here. So we should avoid any bubbles or anything like that in the radiator. So I'm gonna play around with this a little bit and then get everything reconnected. You can see I've got my oil poured in here all the way up almost to the top. Hey, so here I wanted to show you this since I got this out. This is the suction cups that I had used to mount the GPU. And I don't know if it's from the mineral oil or from the heat of the mineral oil that it got so hot. Probably that. But this is like permanently, I don't know if you can see that, flattened. And it's like a hard, rigid plastic now versus before it was a rubbery suction cup. And you can see there's no cup shape in it anymore. Hopefully once we get the radiator working, this is just a heat issue and we won't see this anymore, but I'll keep showing you this stuff as it comes up. All right, I've got a new one. You can see right there, it's got the suction cup, uh, nice and rubbery. We're gonna get this put on and hopefully it stays this way for a long time. I wanted to show you the fans we're using here. These are really, really high RPM, high CFM fans. I think it's over 200 CFM. I'll put the link in the description below but they're wall thigh fans so this is going to be really really nuts i hear they work great uh, they push a lot of air but that they're really loud so so probably sound like an asic running in here so we've got all the fans hooked up now look how thick that is this thing is just a beast <laughs> this thing is a beast and i've got the power cables here and i've got to get this connected over to the rig. I'm picturing building some kind of custom frame to house this, to hold it up and onto the tank itself. And we'll get all the cards organized, but for now, it's just gonna be what it is. And for the power cables to make it over to the rig, I picked up this Master Fan PWM hub, and it's supposed to be magnetic, so maybe I can throw it on the side or something like that. All right, folks, so we've got everything connected up here. It took me a little while but I've got all the grates on. I think I've got everything in place. I got a makeshift little stand here to hold the radiator in place. And the fans are connected. We're ready to go. And I just turned this on a minute ago. 
and these fans are just really ridiculous. They're really ridiculous, so you've got to hear this. Let me turn this on for you. <laughs> this is so dumb. <laughs> This is this is uh these are the parts of mining that I really enjoy right here. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep an eye on this and uh, make sure I don't have any leaks or anything. And if you can hear me, I'm gonna let it mine for a few hours and we'll check the uh, we'll check the temperatures and we'll see how it's doing. All right, so we have been up and mining for about an hour and 20 minutes, and you can see the temperature actually dropped a degree Celsius on the GPU that is immersed at 36 degrees Celsius and over here we've just climbed a degree or two 78 degrees Fahrenheit on the tank and everything's staying nice and cool uh, which before without the radiator by this point it was already starting to feel a little bit warm all right guys so we have the miner if you can see this right here we have been up for 10 hours and we have some pretty impressive results here Look at this. So the fan on the GPU that's submerged is at 22%. And the one that's on the rig over here is at 32%. And the external card is at 57 degrees Celsius. And the one that is immersed here is still at 34 degrees Celsius, which is so good that is so good and then right here the sensor that we have on the tank which is just dropped in back here where the liquid is to see what the liquid in the tank is at is at about 76.9 degrees fahrenheit which as the day's gone on that's actually dropped i think it had peaked somewhere around 78 degrees fahrenheit so i would consider this a success i mean with where we are right now we've got this stable basically we could let this run indefinitely so the next steps, I think, are to start adding other GPUs and start to beef this up. Now that we know that this is working, let's generate as much heat in here as we can. And I'm going to try to get a full rig in here. So that'll be in the next upcoming video, the part three to this. And then I'm going to work with some friends of mine, some mining friends, and we're going to try to build a frame, I think, assuming or hopefully uh, we can get this thing to where it can house a complete rig and we'll create you know a, a permanent structure a permanent frame for it so if you've got any ideas on what that would look like let me know put it in the comments below i'm thinking things like a wire frame maybe that you would buy a store-bought frame and then set the radiator and i think i'm going to do the RevTech board on top along with the power supply so there'd be three items the radiator the RevTech, and then the power supply and then all of the cables just hanging down into the tank and having, I think the goal would be seven, my seven GPU AMD rig all in here. And I'll do some experimentation taking these fans on and off. I do wanna see what happens with at least one, maybe I'll leave one on, because I wanna check it like after a month, after two months, and just see. The, the thermal paste, I'm very curious because that's supposed to degrade over time. I, I do wanna see what that looks like. So look, I consider this a success. If you would, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also, please go check out our sponsor for this video, SCD Key. Go check it out. Link's in the description below. We'll see you in the next video, Raptors. Take care. Bye-bye.